What's up, everybody? It's Alex from Everything for iPod. If you've been a longtime viewer, back to 2010, you know that I showed you how to do a verbose boot on your Mac, holding Command and V while you boot up to see all the processes going on in your computer. But now I'm showing you how to do that on your Mac without holding down Command and V, how to set verbose boot on your Mac to default when you turn your computer on. So you will just have to hit the power button and you will see all of the processes going on inside your computer while it's booting up and verbose boot looks just like this just a black screen with white text and it looks pretty cool and it shows you what's going on if you're a tech geek like I am you will appreciate this it's not hard at all to do this you will just need to use terminal and if you've ever used terminal before this should be a run in the park for you so go ahead and go up to spotlight to search and type in terminal if you don't want to spotlight search for whatever reason or you can't, I don't know, it's uh, located inside of applications and then inside of the utilities folder. So if you need to get to it that way, you can. Or if you're just wondering where it is. But anyway, this is basically like command prompt on Windows if you've never used it before where you can type in simple commands and the computer will listen to you. So what we're going to do is type in the verbose booting command, which is this. So if you um, want to see the command in text, it's in the description so you can go read it. Uh, it's not really that long, but you can go copy and paste it or something. But if you just want to type it in, here it is. It's sudo space nvram space boot dash args equals quotation dash v quotation. Then hit enter. It will ask you for your password. Now go ahead and type in your password. When you type, no letters will appear. Uh, that's perfectly normal. It's still listening to you. And then just hit enter. And that's it. It'll just um, go down to the next line, but it did work. So let's go check it out and see if it did work. I'm going to go ahead and restart the computer. Just click restart. And you can see that it's going to right away go into verbose boot. So you can see that verbose boot does work on startup as well as shutdown. So it's showing me all the processes it's going through to shut down the computer. And it looks pretty cool. I really like just reading through some of it. And, you know, it's just a cool little thing that adds to customization of your Mac. And if people look at it, you know, they're going to be like, whoa, what's that? And it's pretty simple, really easy to do. And if you're into tech, it's kind of interesting too because... I don't know, it just looks cool. But anyway, it does work, so if you just use the simple terminal command, and there we go, back into the computer like normal. Now, if we want to reverse it to the original boot, which is just the gray screen with the Apple logo, and you don't want verbose anymore, it's very easy to do that as well. Open up terminal again, and go ahead and type this command in, similar to the other one, sudo nvram, oop, nvram boot, dash ARGS equals and that's it just hit enter and it that just changed it back to the original boot mode so that's pretty much it um thanks for watching uh just want to say I just got back from vacation so the videos will start coming soon that's why there was a bit of a delay so more videos to come shortly on this channel everything for iPod and my design channel which is lightning designs if you enjoyed this video please give it a like it helps me out a lot and uh, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any anything. I have a ton of videos coming in the near future. That's it, guys. See you in my next video.